Plus, a family calls 911 when they discover their two-year-old unresponsive in a pool. The dispatcher calm during a crisis. Now he's sharing his side of the story. Glad you're with us. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Ginger Gatz. And this is News 6 at 430 getting results. The Volusia Sheriff's Office says the dispatcher helped save the toddler's life. The call came in Sunday afternoon from a home in De Leon Springs. As first responders rushed to the scene, the dispatcher was walking the family through giving the two-year-old CPR. Today, that child is alive. News 6's Molly Reed talks to the dispatcher who played a vital role in that. That dispatcher tells me today it was one of the more difficult calls he's taken in his career, but he pushed through. He's now being credited with teaching a family member life-saving CPR skills all over the phone. When you pick up that phone, you never know what is going to be on the other end, so it's always something different. And this was the call dispatch supervisor Tom Eggers answered Sunday afternoon. Stay on the line with me. Stay on the line. Get the baby out of the water. A family in Dalian Springs calling for help after finding their two-year-old face down in the pool unresponsive and not breathing. I'm going to tell you what to do, okay? <laughs> Calming the caller down so that they can really listen to what we're trying to tell them because obviously we're not there. Without seeing anything but knowing the emergency, couldn't wait for first responders to get there. Egger starts teaching the family CPR over the phone. I want you to take one hand, place it on the center of her chest between the nipples and to press down to a depth of one inch. Even counting with the person on the other line. This rhythm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Deputy body camera shows them getting on scene after minutes of CPR. Come on, you're okay. Come on. And finally, there you go. the child was then taken to the hospital in serious condition. I have a grandson, and a lot of our dispatchers also all have young children, so when you, those calls involving young children are, are difficult to process sometimes. In this case, though difficult, he says he sees the best part of his job. Unfortunately, it's not always a good outcome, so when we do get one that we're able to save somebody, um, it, it feels amazing. It makes you glad that, you, you know, it's very fulfilling. The sheriff's office says at their last check, that child is expected to make a full recovery. In Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.